there's the Dracorex. Oh, that poor thing. She looks like she's in pain. Yeah, that foot looks pretty infected. You got the tranquilizer ready? Yep. Excellent. We'll just hit her with this, and then we'll bring her back to camp so we can treat her. <gasps> what was that? Get behind me. <coughs> Duh! What is that? That's a Smilodon. A saber-toothed cat. Phew, that was close. You can say that again. Since when did we have a saber-toothed cat living on the sanctuary? I think we rescued that one from Manticore. I thought their Smilodon was killed by a Spinosaurus. That's what my friends told me. Well, maybe they had more than one Smilodon. I guess that makes sense. We've got to call the rest of the team and tell them to come and rescue us. Guys, come in. Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Do you see him anywhere? No, there's no sign of him. Remind me again what we're looking for, exactly? We're looking for a solitary male Stegosaurus. There are plenty of Stegosauruses on the island. What's so special about this one? This particular Stegosaurus has a condition called piebaldism. I caught a glimpse of him a few days ago, and I plan on capturing him on film. Could that be him? Could be. He sounds like he's getting closer. One time we need their help, and they don't even bother answering their walkie-talkie. Well, let's just hope they'll call us back soon before that saber-toothed cat comes back. You know, I always thought it was called a saber-toothed tiger. That's a common misconception. Despite sometimes being called a saber-toothed tiger, they weren't actually related to tigers. Don't worry, Zia. Even I've called it a saber-toothed tiger in the past. Anyway, let's hope that Sabor doesn't come back. Wait, 
You named the Smilodon Sabor? Yeah. Isn't that the Spanish word for flavor? Yeah, but that's not why I named him that. I named him Sabor because... <gasps> Can Smilodons climb trees? Mm, I don't know. I think he might be a bit too heavy for tree climbing. Okay, I stand corrected. We're gonna have to jump! Oof! Well, that was totally unexpected. Yeah, good thing the T-Rex's vision is based on movement. You know, I've read somewhere that the T-Rex actually had excellent eyesight, and they could spot an object from up to six kilometers away. So, how come the T-Rexes couldn't see us? You know what, I'm not sure. Maybe it has something to do with the frog DNA that was spliced into the genetic code of the T-Rex when InGen created them. Anyway, let's see if we can try to find Spirit. Spirit? Is that what you named the Stegosaurus? Yeah, because he's like a mystical being, and is so hard to find. I like that name. It has a nice ring to it. <gasps> Guys! Over there. It's a Yangchuanosaurus. Is it dead? No. It's still alive. Just barely. Do you think Spirit could have injured it? It's a possibility. We'll have to call Zia over here so she can treat this poor animal. Ah, crap. I think I left the walkie-talkie back in the Jeep. We'll have to go back and get it. All right, then. Hang in there, big guy. We'll be right back. I'm fine. You're limping. Don't worry. It's just a scratch. You know, maybe we should stop and rest for a little bit. We don't need to. 
Our base camp is just a few miles away from here. We'll be there in no time. See ya. You're hurt. You need to stay off that leg of yours for a little bit. Otherwise, it's only going to get worse. I'll keep a lookout for predators and try to call for help while you rest. Well, all right then. Guys, come in. Are you there? Hey, Darius. What's up? You think you can give me and Zia a hand? We're out in the open plains and Zia's leg is injured after we got attacked by a- <gasps> Hello? Are you there? He's here. Who is? What's going on? There's a Smilodon. That's been hunting us all day. He's in the grass. I can hear him creeping around. I think... I think he can hear me. If you can hear him, then he can hear you. And smell you. Listen to me, Darius. You and Zia need to back away from the Smilodon. Slowly. Get out of that grass. <coughs> Too late! Ah, ah, no! No, go away! Stop it! Ah, ah! Hang in there, Darius! We're coming! Are you guys okay? We are now. Alright, now that we got our wounds treated, let's take a look at Sabor. What do you got for me, Ellie? Well, I don't think he has any signs of rabies, but I don't know what else could have driven this animal to haunt you. Hmm... Do you mind if I take a look at his teeth? Um, sure. One of his carnassial teeth is broken, and it looks badly infected. Of course, it all makes sense now. What do you mean? Some big cats, like lions and tigers, will often become man-eaters if they become sick or injured in some way that prevents them from hunting their usual prey. 
and one of these injuries include damaged teeth. So you're saying the reason why the Smilodon was hunting you and Darius was because of his tooth infection? Yeah, exactly. If I can extract this tooth and give him some antibiotics, maybe he'll stop trying to kill us. Well, it's worth a shot. Ellie, could you please get me my dental pliers? Sure. All right, time to get to work. Okay, now that we've successfully removed Sabor's broken tooth, it's time to release him back into the wild. <laughs> Sounds like Sabor's ready to go home. Let's hope he doesn't try to kill us as soon as we let him out. Owen, open the crate. You got it. So, Darius, why did you name that saber-toothed cat Sabor? I named him Sabor after that panther from Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan. Also because he's a Sabor-toothed cat? <laughs> okay, that's actually kind of clever. Anyway, did you guys manage to find that piebald stegosaurus in the jungle? No, but we did find a Yangchuanosaurus that's in critical condition. If we hurry, we might still be able to save it. Unless, of course, you need to stay at camp and rest from your injuries. You know what? I am feeling a little bit better now, so I think I'll tag along with you guys. <laughs> Suit yourself. <laughs> 